Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 8th, 2019. So, hey guys, I'm running a little late today um, getting this done. I got to tell you, just kind of perusing over the news this morning, my goodness, there's so much uncertainty, so much unrest. I didn't even know what to write about um, this morning in the morning blog. And by the way, if you guys look just below the title, there'll be a link that you guys can go over to the morning blog if you have an interest in reading those. Um, I write one of those every single morning. So, wow. We First off, let's start off with the technicals here. Um, yesterday, we left behind a, a shooting star top here this shooting star pattern right at price resistance of the 50-day moving average we tried to poke through there yesterday just as the day went on it seemed like there was a growing um uh, diminishment of the hopes for a trade deal that uh, every news report that came out just seemed to, you know, tough talk from China and all of this stuff now surrounding the NBA and, and China, you know, shutting off NBA games and um, a pretty interesting dynamic that's going on there. This all this brinksmanship happening and this battle um, really seems to be losing ground um, with the market right now. The, the bulls just weren't able to hold on. On as these news stories continue to circulate just that uncertainty of the trade of a potential trade deal and I gotta admit it seems more and more unlikely that there's gonna be anything accomplished when they resume talks here this week so that shooting star pattern then we end up um, overnight we get the um, Brexit situation potentially breaking down it looks like there's a growing concern that um, uh, Brexit may not that there may be a no deal Brexit uh, that's that's moved currency uh, markets um, overnight and creating some uncertainty there gold is on the rise a little bit of fear us dollar sliding all kinds of currency fluctuations going on in the market creating some unrest here so this morning we have futures looking at a gap down open now they have bounced off of their lows they've been down as much as 200 points right now as i'm speaking they're only about 167 so um, kind of waited to get this video going this morning to see how this might balance out. But we're looking at kind of an ugly gap down this morning, um, taking back some of that. Now, I think we're going to be OK as long as we don't dip into this gap here on the Dow. But uh, with so much uncertainty swirling out there, let's add to that the the major the major unrest that's uh, developing between Turkey and Syria after the president's decision uh, that the Congress, even his most staunch supporters, now are blasting him for his decision to pull out of that region. We have oil rising because of a conflict um, and, and, and tensions growing between Iraq and Ecuador. It seems like no matter where you go in the world right now, um, we've got conflict and issues uh, perking up everywhere. We've got all the problems in Hong Kong going on, just creating all of these different little hotbeds of un uncertainty out there and making it very, very difficult to trade this market uh, for sure, um, as we're very, very new sensitive and all of the spin is going on out there. Also, keep in mind, we could be just in kind of a way wait and see mode for that FOMC minutes on Wednesday that the market could be waiting on as well. So what a mess we have right now in these charts. Let's take a look at the SPY really quickly. SPY also shooting star top right there at a at a 50 day moving average that is in decline in a downtrending um, chart. So definitely not engendering a whole lot of bullish confidence here this morning. And we are looking at a gap down open that is substantial here on the SPY. If those seller, sellers continue to push lower, we drop into this gap, we really could see um, more downside here on, on the day. So be very, very careful. 
uh, on how you approach this. Um, obviously, these overnight reversals like this are pretty difficult. Now, it really shouldn't have been all that big a surprise leaving shooting star patterns behind yesterday, but still, it's disheartening to see such a a big uh, downside gap this morning. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues also shooting star top right at price resistance and downtrend. Uh, definitely not looking very confident there overall at the end of the day yesterday. And this morning we're looking at a gap down here as well. Certainly uh, the cues did quite a job yesterday uh, lifting up and holding right there at that 50-day moving average. But notice that 50-day moving average is in decline as we gap down this, mo this morning. If we get additional sellers filling this gap, it could get pretty pretty brutal. So let's be careful with that chart today. Um, IWM, this guy is just sick. Um, that's all, that, all you can say about it. 50 crossing down below the 200. Shooting star pattern yesterday at price resistance gapping down this morning. What we're going to have to do, I think, with IWM is keep a real close eye on this major level of support. If we break down through there, um, it could really draw the rest of the market lower. So let's watch that closely. Um, clearly not a bullish chart here in IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, um, I talked about this yesterday, the importance of possible, possibly this level of support that if we pulled back into that level of support and found um, some fear, and we did pick up a little bit of fear yesterday as the, that market sold off, a little hammer pattern here could be putting in a bit of a bottom and now this morning, this gap down is likely going to spike this fear back up. So keep an eye on that, um, doggone it. We really didn't want to see that occur, but it looks like that may be in play, that we may have a little bit of an uptrend going on here. And if we happen to break above some of this um, resistance level, in the VIX that could really bring some fear into the market so let's watch that closely and, and spike those if you're an option trader is going to spike those um, uh, option prices because of that uh, extrinsic value increasing uh, based on the volatility of the market so let's watch those closely let's take a look at um, T21, 22, T21, 22, the four week new high, new low ratio. You can see yesterday we dropped down. I need to get to a daily. We dropped down uh, just slightly yesterday on that pullback um, in the market. And now this morning, looking at a substantial gap down, we could move this sharply lower. So um, just kind of keep in mind that it, we've got a pretty good open door here to move substantially lower here in the market to get down back down here to this bullish uh, reversal zone. And if those bulls happen to step in after this gap down this morning, pushing us back up, we have plenty of upside room as well that we can go. So we're just kind of dancing around with lots of volatility here at the open. Right now, futures down 181 and currently falling. So just looking to be kind of an ugly morning for the open. Let's uh, take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has another Powell speech this morning. I doubt we're going to learn anything new. We do have the PPI number this first thing this morning. Certainly could move us around depending on how that number comes out this morning and um, after that it's really fed speak and jerome powell to pot potentially move that market around remember fomc minutes are tomorrow and typically we see a market kind of rest or go sideways um, as we wait for those fomc minutes but with all this unrest um, circulating it's going to be really tough for the market to um to have focus on that right now with all these issues brewing out there in the world. We have um, earnings today, but not many earnings today, only about 11 companies reporting. A um, um, couple of, that might be notable uh, for folks is uh, Levi reporting today. 
Um, I think it reports after the bell. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing any evidence of that report um, just yet. Uh, DPZ, DPZ uh, reporting today. It looks like Domino's has missed on their report and gapping substantially lower here this morning. And also um, Helen of Troy um, reporting today. It looks like it got a good result in its earnings report, gapping higher here this morning. So a few things that could move that market around, but I don't expect these to be real market movers um, overall uh, with the intensity that's going on in the emotion this morning of the market. So with that, guys, I got to tell you, it's really, really tough to be putting out uh, possible trades in a market like this because we're just in such a dangerous situation with the market, with the potential of any news report um, being able to... Um, um, reverse things almost overnight. Well, I, not even overnight, I should say, um, almost instantly, any time of the day. And so a lot of uncertainty and unrest out there to uh, try and be dealt with. But there are a few bright, shining places in the market, like Apple, Apple holding up well. And there was even a news report that Apple may be gaining ground um, with a Medicare company uh, suggesting that they are going to start uh, paying for um, or at least partially pay for the Apple Watch for Medicare customers. Um, kind of an interesting development that they might be moving into that medical uh, field that could increase uh, sales of that product. So might want to keep an eye here on Apple and it held up pretty well even though it did pull back substantially from its high yesterday it's still holding up quite well take a look at Nike Nike um, held up pretty well overall holding up into this trend a little bit of a pullback yesterday toward the end of the day and it looks like Nike is gapping down this morning so uh, you know just uh, we're gonna see a lot of that I think this morning where we get full-on reversals from what we were looking at yesterday Short trades, um, you know, a person might take a look at Disney. Disney rallying right into price resistance of this chart. Price resistance here, price resistance of the downtrend. Uh, Disney could be setting up as a potential short and looking to gap down a little bit this morning. If you do plan to trade, make sure you put yourself in a position where you're protecting uh, protecting yourself because, oh my goodness, what a mess we have here in these charts. And it's very, very difficult to um, hold on to much of an edge unless you are a really, really quick trader um, in the market. You know, I mentioned Fitbit yesterday, um, hoping that Fitbit might... Um, rally back up and hold a support level pulled back yesterday and now this morning uh, could move even lower so Fitbit may be dropping off of that list just can't get her going um, um, overall I had home on the list yesterday and home looked really good finishing the day pretty strongly and it looks like this morning but I'm going to open about where it closed home still holding up as a potential long trade when you might keep an eye on Dollar Tree that had such a beautiful move up completely reversing yesterday on that um, on I, I don't know what created it to tell you the truth just price action uh, coming in sellers pushing back hard so we had that nice bump up completely reversing um, still trying to hold around this little support area here if the buyers can step up there may still be a chance but this could also set up as a market top so we've got all this back and forth and swinging going around making it very very difficult to trade keep an eye on things like um, XL utilities still holding up quite well and it looks like utilities may be um, holding nicely this morning here one of those safety areas where people go during uncertainty check out gold this morning GLD GLD moving back up 
this morning as these currencies fluctuate around this Brexit uh, situation and uncertainty. Also, there seems to be a move in some of the oil stocks. Oil seems to be moving back up with the conflict or, or tensions growing between um, um, Iraq and Ecuador. So we might want to watch some of those oil issues today. There may be a little bit of safety in those. But guys, I got to tell you, overall, pretty tough market to trade. Be very, very careful. Um, and, and remember, it's okay to stay on the side when the market is like this. Um, the market is really set up for um, intraday trading more than anything else with this kind of whip. A very sensitive news and environment for the market to be dealing with. So be very, very careful out there. So folks, I, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you um, great success in your trading. And I, you know, I hate putting out uh, videos like this but when we look at the technicals of the chart there really is no major surprise here that we're still bearish um, in this market and that this uncertainty that continues to swirl around these markets is creating an awful lot of tension and awful lot of problems going on so be very very careful and um I wish I could be a lot more bullish than this. I want to be more bullish than this, but I'm not saying it right now this morning. As, I, as I'm as i speaking right now, futures are now down 170, so we're continuing to fluctuate pretty substantially here this morning um, in that futures market. We could uh, whip all over the place as the morning goes on, so be really, really careful. Um, Folks, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you find these videos helpful, and I know it's hard to find a video helpful helpful when the market is such a bummer, um, but hopefully it helps you in visualizing these charts a little bit better, uh, putting yourself in the right place in the market. If you find these helpful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button, click that bell icon, um, also so that you can be notified every time I produce one of these videos. And, and guys, I want to draw attention to the strategy videos and the other things that, that we have on the channel. If you haven't taken advantage of those, please do. There's so much information, free training out there. And when a market is like this, sometimes one of the best things you can do is just pull back, protect your capital, work on your training, work on, um, you know, the, your trading plan, work on the development, work on a watch list, um, do lots of things except for putting your capital at risk in a market that is whipping back and forth like this. Protect that capital. And if you find those videos helpful, I would really appreciate if you could click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Um, that helps um, a tremendous amount. I want to say thank you to everyone. I appreciate everyone who participates in this channel. You guys are awesome and um, trust me on this even though the market is really a bummer right now it will turn around we'll eventually get through all of this uncertainty i've been through this before many times it will settle out things will get better but we have to protect our capital and make sure we're protecting ourselves because it's so easy to lose confidence in our trading ability when the market is like this and there's so much uncertainty out there swirling around so be careful protect yourself and your capital in this market and realize that it will get better just Hold, wait for your edge to return and it will get better. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.